Hello and welcome back to that LA garage. We're gonna we're about to start a new project today. Uh, it's kind of a homage to my old days to what I what I started doing. Uh, you're about to see what car it is. It's kind of cool. Not a lot of damage at all on this one, uh, but uh, it has a little bit of a wiring issue. We got a 2016 STI. This side's pretty good. And this is the side that got the accident. It got, it got hit here, obviously. I think it needs a control arm. The wheel got pushed back. I think this is the reason why it got uh, uh, totaled because of the wire harness, but I'm gonna go through that and sort that out. That's, that's easy stuff. And then the rest is pretty much easy. I think this, is, this might be the worst part of it, the A-pillar. It looks like they put a new uh, windshield on the car, so I'm gonna have to probably get take it off and reinstall it, make sure it's done correctly, and I have to buy up a whole bunch of other parts. First things first, I think I'm gonna change the. It has a spare in the back that I'm gonna install just so I can uh, push it in. Uh, let me show you the inside. It's pretty clean. I didn't get a chance to really look at it so much. And not much work either. So I think it's all because that electronics over there and also there's no battery. Uh, somebody did ransack the car though. They did take, uh, you know, the switches over here, the, the covers, probably had nice covers or something. Over here, you probably had a gauge pod. That's why this vent is missing. There's a few wires cut into who knows probably gauges i don't know what this you know these days what these kids put all right sound so old uh that's it so uh let's get the i'm gonna get the spare tire on it i'll push it in all right so we got the car in we're gonna take a look at it again I, this thing has been ransacked but it's not a big deal yeah again that the switches it's kind of weird somebody would take switches out of this thing um when i power it up it doesn't start or anything uh let's actually open the hood i started ordering parts for it already looks like nothing hit i mean frame rail is perfect it's just whatever is holding the battery that got a little damaged headlights I'm gonna work on this today I'm gonna undo it from here all the way to here and I'm just gonna resolder I'm gonna put different wires I have uh, different harnesses I can take off material from to get it yeah this has to be the reason why this thing is not starting so that's basically all I'm going to be doing on this today and then I have bought a new battery as well so uh, so hopefully new battery and that will start it um, that's it that's it it's pretty simple All right, so a quick look underneath before we get to it. What sucks is you got two little wire harnesses that were cut out. One was for the water tank that sit here, the, the fluid, the wiper fluid, I mean that hooked up to here at one point. And then you have the fog light. But I'm gonna get a different set of bumper, a different bumper, the newer bumper that doesn't have fog lights. Uh, so one of them I could just get rid of and this will be a little bit tough for me to find the rest of it and then I could splice it in but uh, suspension wise it looks like you know obviously we got bent control arm over here the bu oh, that's really cool the bushing fell out of it um, so we need a new control arm looking at the subframe doesn't look like it uh, it shifted or mo moved um, and also we'll know once we put uh, the new control arm on, we'll see where it, where it uh, sits. But it doesn't look like it was 
damaged has a down pipe and up pipe aftermarket full three inch exhaust it opens up this guy you're missing a tip over here so I gotta find a tip I gotta take this one off and see what uh, what brand it is so I can ma get one matching looks good all the parts are here oh this needs to get no nothing underneath just this is probably from the forklifts that knock this out of out of place doesn't look like there's any oil leaks ah and it looks pretty fresh too actually oh it has a uh what do they call this it's a cylinder four extra cooling something well, that's sorry that's the kit that goes there looks good it looks like a quick fix actually pretty much control arm oh the other wheel was horrible we need another we needed another wheel and then I see on here that this side also is also no good so, uh, you got a lot of tread on the tires, though. I don't know. It's exciting to get this thing done. It'll be fixed really fast. I got to shop for some wheels. I ordered a new hood. Got to shop for a headlight, uh, fender. There's a few supports that we need for the battery. That'll be easy. But, uh, this is all quick things. Oh, I ordered uh, the, the new bumper too. I ordered one from the dealer from a, a 2020. So it'll, it'll fit. It's the same everything else. It just has some l slight little de designs. And I'm just waiting for other people to uh, give, message me back on quotes. So uh, I'm going to start with the with the wire harness on this. And uh, hopefully by the end of the day I can get it running. Alright, after like two hours I was able to shrink wrap a lot of these wires, fix them, solder them. Looks good for now. I'm just going to let it hang out. Checked a few of these fuses. Two of them were bad. I um, also checked the fuse box <clears throat> under the dash. Here. Oy. And now I'm ready to start and see if anything changes so far i got a few lights over here that are partially dim which is not a good sign i feel the i hear the fuel pump turn on <clears throat> this is turning on now that didn't turn on before this is i mean this turned on before but i'm not getting all the lights on they're like dim let's see if i crank it no no crank doesn't even sound like the starter is starting. <clears throat> I don't know. So because all these lights are, even with the key out, right? These lights, it means there's a short somewhere. <clears throat> and we know there's a problem with the wire harness wherever I fixed. Who knows, there's probably a problem somewhere else also so uh, instead of chasing it I think I'm gonna I'm gonna shop for around for a wire harness for this car and I'll do a wire harness swap on it sucks but needs to be done and then we'll go from there maybe we'll need an ECU but hopefully not I think it's just a wire harness all right so Back to ordering parts, and we'll continue with this job later on when we get some parts. So for now, I just gotta order some parts, and when I get the parts in, I'll continue this project, this build. Um, if you like the content of this video, please uh, subscribe. You'll uh, we'll catch up to the rest of uh, this. To to do this in the future, I'm probably gonna take have to take the fenders out. Take the inner cooler out, 
and be able to get to all the wires out there. The whole dashboard is gonna be is gonna have to come out. The seats, the carpet, the center console, everything is coming out of this car. So stay tuned to that. And again, if you uh, if you're, you're new to this channel, please subscribe. We'll uh, keep you up to date when the next next video comes out for for this build or any other other builds. And uh, till then, if you ain't got haters, you ain't popping.